Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new update here with your Truck Simulator 2. I am Full Tilt Gaming. We're going to be unpacking the 1.3 update. We're talking about new maps from a trailer ownership, which has been the big one in everybody's mind. Uh, it is what has been really a buzz the past couple of months. Also waiting for all my ETS fans as well. Uh, ATS, sorry. We're doing ETS. All my ATS fans uh, are ready and, and really to receive the 1.32 update for ATS as well. Uh, so this should give us a good inkling of what to expect. Most of the time ets is kind of the first run through then they kind of be able to fix all the bugs and kind of you know, get things squared back around and then ats is usually a much small a smoother rollout but hopefully this will be the same so we'll be talking about what they're adding into the map talking about some back-end things that they're doing also we'll teach you how to get into the public updates so if you have no idea what you're doing uh and you've maybe not found a, a video that tells you there is some written uh, instructions but sometimes it's here just to watch someone do it themselves so stay with us here in the next 15 and we'll uh, get started right here with 1.32 update with your truck simulator 2 we'll be right back <laughs> Well, welcome here to 1.32 update here really quick. Let's go ahead and show you two and then we're going to get back into actually what this update has got in, in it when let's unpack this bad boy and let's see what's all under the uh, onion layers here. So let's go ahead. Uh, you go back to your library, go over to Euro truck. Mine is obviously running, but you're going to want to right click this, go down to properties. Next to left one is betas and then you want to click into the public beta now since mine is actually running it's not going to bring up a whole list of stuff but actually you can revert back um so if let's just say it forces you to go into an upgraded state you can tell it no i don't want to i'm going to stay in 1.31 everything's stable i'm a model stable i don't really care about trailer ownership that's one of those things you have to opt into these things they don't happen automatically so if you're wondering why you can't own trailers and everybody else can here's where you do it so make sure your public bed at 1.32 and then close out of this now what will happen then you'll get right here beside your euro truck sim 2 it'll get a little uh, parenthesis that says update queued let that update it'll download all the new stuff it'll get your new game up and rolling and then it'll say ready to go or ready to play something like that and then you can play your truck simulator in the beta now if you wind up coming up with things that really giving you issues you want to revert back to multiplayer you want to go back to your old profile where all of your stacked version of mods are then you're more than free to do that all you need to do is go through the same steps uh, except when you get to the um, the betas uh, tab, make sure that you completely opt out of all betas and just choose none. They will update again. Then uh, the game will come up, update queued, update it, and let it go, and then play and play on. And it'll be right back in 1.31. So as simple as that. Very, very, very easy. So let me go ahead and close that down. We'll shut our browser capture off. All right, so here we are today. This is what we are looking at. So we're looking at brand new stuff here. Now, no trucks uh, as to be involved in with a 1.32, but we've got a lot of stuff. And let me show you really quick here. This is just a little bit of the just the 411 on this. Now, we're up here so we can grab some doubles because I know everyone will want to see a double. Um, but one of the other cool things, and I, this is one of my multiplayer profiles. We didn't really do a lot on this profile, but I did spend some time up here in this northern Germany area. Now, most of all this was pretty much un you know was undiscovered uh except a lot of this stuff up here in northern germany got a huge rebuild so if you go through there and wonder we may see if we can't get down into hamburg because that's a really nice area between uh, hamburg and rostock uh berlin um onesbrook and dortmund all of those kind of all have new areas i mean they've got some of these have been completely rebuilt from the ground up some have just been facelift new uh new stuff in there new buildings new models and facades so it's pretty cool to kind of go through these older areas uh now that especially you have scandinavia dlc which brings a lot of models into ets as well as the going east and viva la france now we actually have some rebuild going on inside of germany and this is all free a part of the update so they decided they were going to take some of the old parts of the map and kind of bring them up to speed uh they were kind of their original map stuff because you got to think they're fixing to roll out the baltics which you know is going to be really nice but most people stay based inside of the actual core map of uh of this so you also look at two as well uh pro mods and some of those other places are going to have a lot of work ahead of them to kind of catch back up inside uh and get their mods uh squared up with what's going on here so i to me it seems like there's gonna be a lot of work um 
not necessarily just a small update of just trailer mods there's a lot of back end here that is getting updated so let's go ahead let's clear out that next thing you're going to notice here is there is a ton of a ui that's user interface there's a ton some people call them guis uh there's a ton of gui interface stuff here that is all new but it's well organized as well so uh looking down here you've got all your job stuff radio email photo studio yada 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 yada, yada. same thing down here this is mostly self-explanatory but here's a new little area up here where you basically you're looking at just all of your truck and trailer stuff whether you're talking about dealers for trucks trailers whether you're talking about diagnosis cabin trailer adjustments truck upgrades trailer upgrades uh, and then your progress history. Most of all, that is all in one cap with your profile. Now, if you look underneath that, obviously, besides your profile and everything, you'll see truck manager, trailer manager, driver manager, garage manager, bank, recruitment. So everything that takes the management of your actual uh, e economy, um, economy, uh, what's the word, a oh, company. Anything, and that's on the game. That is not truck books company. So if you're a truck book driver uh, for a company, or if you're even one for, for my group with uh, FTG United Logistics, that is not pertaining to that. That's totally set. This is in-game, so if you want to hire your own drivers to drive for your company or the proverbial FTG United Logistics, then that's where everything happens. So we've just kind of got a regular Scania. This is the R2012, I mean 2016, um, the Streamline. Uh, and this is the newer truck that we got. It's not the, the old one, the R series. And so, you know, we've got this one and it's kind of just set up just for your general trailer pull. It's not a heavy haul truck, although it probably could pull it. But anyway, this is just your regular standard truck. So we're going to go ahead and look at, uh, hopefully uh, a good trailer here. So we'll go ahead and pick up a double and uh, we'll show you guys what you can do with these and how they kind of operate, how they work. And we'll even do a little bit of driving. We'll go pick up something. We'll go, we'll fast forward and, and drop it off and kind of show you how you can really just kind of keep it going and really kind of have that real life experience here with these. So I'm going to look here uh, at these refrigerated doubles. Pretty nice. The whole entire, you know, user interface for your trailers and your truck purchase stuff is all completely changed it's all new it feels new uh it still has the same scroll wheel bar stuff but if you go back over to the trucks which we can uh let's go back over truck dealers just pick any random truck dealer here here we go renault uh, buy online and see now they've actually got these instead of having the, the older school now everything's back on these these general default uh you know gray kind of backdrops and it looks good looks really good so there you go uh, let's roll on over and get back over to trailer dealers and you do flatbeds. Uh, I don't know whether or not there's any plans for DLC stuff. My guess is probably not since it's the DLC is an actual payware add on. This will be more or less to the core of the game, which everything you'd expect to come with the core of the game. This will, you know, replace that. So let's do refrigerated doubles. Now you can only get refrigerated doubles if you own a garage in the Scandinavian DLC. If you uh, do not have the Scandinavian DLC and you're like, well, I can't have doubles. Sorry, uh, you gotta have Scandinavian uh, DLC. So let's go ahead, let's go to the configuration. We'll show you what you can do with this thing. Now, um, a couple of little secrets here. I don't know that anyone's, uh, you may have figured it out by now. It's fine if you did, I'll tell you again. So you got a couple different, this is kind of like a truck. So now you've got chassis, you've got paint jobs, you've even got accessories on these. So think about what it's going to be when the modders get a hold of this and they're going to be like, oh my God, yes, we can finally come up with, you know, trailers that have attachments and have different stuff with them now whether or not that can be skins as well so you can just stack up a bunch of trailers people can pick the skins and then it can be your skin on this trailer forever you don't have to go to the job you don't have to go pick it up and then choose the skin and then oh i didn't get that skin on that son of a and and then you're back into square one again this one you keep them all in uh, as it is and it stays with you so that's the coolest thing about owning the trailer so you got b doubles which is the same which is just basically the the truck hitch there and the fifth wheel there on the back of the trailer i like the doubles i like the um i like pulling the smaller pup in the back there i don't, I don't know why just just kind of do uh, and right as of now, everything's boxed. It does have like a cistern, which is uh, no more than a, you know, just a tubular tank. It does have a picture of a tubular tank, which makes me think they're going to at least offer a few of these. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't, but right now everything's square. So maybe look for that to be something that maybe rolls out in either an update patch or they're going to get this up and going first and then they'll kind of add a few little things in later on. I have not seen as to anything as to whether or not they're going to add that. So if you do know, leave me a, drop me a, a something to comment. We'll get it pinned uh, so other guys have all the pertinent information they need. So let's do, um, I like the refrigerated side doors. I think that looks snazzy. 
Um, so we'll do refrigerator and size doors, and you even get to pick your chassis on this, which I think is pretty freaking cool. Uh, so whether or not you, however you want to stack your tag lifts, um, uh, tag lift axles and stuff, I am at least just going to add these two here, and you've got the single one right here. So we're on 2-2, two, two, and then we've got a tag right here on this one, um, and then we've got the color. All right, so let's look at uh, options here. So we've got a few different ones. Each side is different, which is pretty pretty cool. So whether or not you do pallet boxes on one side, you can do something else totally different on the other side. So you could do a full protection skirt. Um, you know, you could do another box on the side. So you could basically have two pullouts on the either side. Sure enough, why not? We'll do exclusive markers. That just does nothing but add more lights. And you could even change the reefers, so the refrigerator. So if you like Turbo King, fine. If you like more of a, uh, if you like going the carrier cooler side, uh, the Victor cooler side, I should say. It kind of looks like the carrier logo. But if you like it, you go, you know, go with something like this. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you want. We'll stay with these. I, li I like that one. It's a little, uh, I don't know. Looks, looks, looks classic to me. I don't know. Um, all right, so let's go in here now. If you want to, you can add a front tour to this trailer if you wanted to. Um, I am just going to choose to leave it off because we have a back. Yes, we do have a back, and we had sides, so there's no reason to have front door. We'll add a new change there on the lights. We'll add, here we got the coolers on these, thermo box. Uh, sure, let's add the thermo box. We've got exclusive on that. Uh, what else we got in here? Okay, we got painted boxes. Yeah, we'll leave painted boxes. Sure, why not? And I think, oh, okay, cool. So we do have spare tires back here. Uh, you could do full protection skirts. We'll do, how about with this? Let's just do a, do a full protection skirt on this side. We'll do a, yeah, we'll do a spare on this side just in case and painted box there sure why not and then fuel tank okay now i do know you can change all your wheels so this eventually will pull into um when the modders get a hold of these you'll probably have tanks you'll have accessory sets that'll go on this so have all kinds of wheels and tires that will fit both trucks and trailers so it'll take a while for the modders to you know really get up to speed on all the stuff that's in this there is a lot to unpack in this so uh, it's exciting I do have a little option down here for some accessories. So if you've got, uh, you can add the LED strobes, which are from the um, the special transport stuff. I don't really have a lot of mods. I've only got a couple in here just because that's about the only way I could get it to not crash. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe I got really any of my wheels or any of that stuff. Only any of that stuff came in. So we'll use the duty glosses, uh, which is fine. It'd be nice if we had a black wheel. We have black wheel in there. We'll add the... Pacific. We'll go ahead and add that Ranger and we'll put the chrome caps on. Uh, tire wise, uh, oh, it changed my wheel. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh boy. All right. We'll just add, okay, we'll add the. All right. Dang it. Sorry, guys. All right. I wish they had a one all option. Here, this is what I want on all my wheels. Oh, great. That's great. Thanks for letting us know. That was much easier. They do it one by one. All right, let's go to the duty. Duty! That was the Sandlot reference for those old enough to know the uh, Sandlot. <laughs> if you don't, that's when the old fat kid finds a turd in the pool. I mean, uh, no, that was Caddyshack, sorry. Well, Caddyshack action there. That's when Bill Murray finds Dookie in the bottom of the pool. But actually, it's nothing more than a, uh, three, uh, a baby Ruth. <laughs> Little movie history for you buffs out there. All right, so there's that wheel. That wheel's done, and we'll move on to these. Sorry, wish there's a way. Maybe I'll just speed this up in the video and add some cool music as we're uh, having to do all this. Add that and that and that. Okay, wait a minute. This goes runner. Perfect. How fast we do this Ranger 120. Yep. 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 Now, there's really something cool they did, and I cannot believe that they thought to do this. I don't know if it was someone's idea to do this, but whoever it was, it was absolutely genius. So we'll take a look at it here. Once we get done, the last part of our wheels here, we'll zero, these, uh, zero the lettering out there to black. All right, sweet. So now we've got a full-owned customized reefer trailer here. All the wheels match up. We've got our boxes, spare tire just in case we blow one on the side of the road. Uh, we've got some protection skirts here. We've got the nice... Uh, complete covered in the long in there with the uh, the brake lights and all the full uh, mud flap down there in the back. So cool. All right. So here is the coolest thing is being able to skin. Now, right now, we're only dealing with your regular default skins. Um, not the end of the world. 
but it is what it is. Uh, right now, we don't have any modders doing any kind of funsy, funny, crazy, cra uh, crazy stuff. So depending on what you want to do, these trailers are yours to kind of mess around with the colors just like you would mess with them on the truck. So if you just want to do some blank panels, you want to make certain color panels. There's a couple of different choices here that you can and you can kind of see how the, the panels line up and you can you know, color whatever the heck you want to color, whatever you want to color. So you've got these and availability of these. Um, and just like the trucks and they do match now this is the one i picked out um, you kind of see on the screenshot there that we did have the single reefer uh, and it was done the uh, pretty much the same way so what i would suggest is when you color the truck save your presets of colors but if for some reason you don't check that out you can actually add your truck <laughs> you can add your truck as uh something to go back in and look at later once you've got your trailer in here so especially if you're dealing with something maybe a little more custom and you're wanting to match a metallic because you can paint the trailers all the same color uh you can just basically go in there and, and do a single white or you can do custom colors and paint them all the same as far as i know they don't have metallics on those uh yet but uh, i'm sure that's probably not too far down the road so i'm gonna go with the with the sade so we're going to use preset one. Now this preset one matches the exact preset that I got off this uh, for the FTG United Colors. So we'll add in, here's my second preset. So we'll use that one. Whoops, that should be the line. We'll use the preset for that. And then this one will just be white. So there you go. So red, blue, and white. Or white, red, and blue. <laughs> But anyway, it matches your reflection stickers, and it looks pretty good on there. Um, and it would also look better if we had the big FTG, you know, truck going down for our uh, logistics company. So anyway, there we go. So now after you're all done, all you got to do is confirm and then purchase just like you would a truck. Now we'll purchase that. Now we have to keep this in a, um, you have to keep this in a garage up in Scandinavia. You cannot move the doubles down. The only way, and there is a caveat to it, if you get the Euro Doubles mod, which is a mod that allows you to carry doubles all over Europe, you can put this trailer anywhere else. But for right now, if you're not using that mod and you're kind of mod less like I am, I'm really kind of feel naked out there without all my mods. But yes, you have to put it in Scandinavia. So that's what we're going to do. We do want a $270,000 reefer. Congratulations, we've purchased and will be stored. Woo! All right, so that's all that. We're good there. Okay, now here's the cool thing. So now your trailer manager becomes a truck manager. So you can pick stuff up, you can move stuff away, you can do this, you can do that, which is pretty cool. So once you select something, this is just like the truck menu. If you want to take it, you can take it back in. You can configure it again. You can mess with it. You can reskin it for something else. Say you want to pick up a new skin for a truck. And you're like, oh, I'd really like to put this on. So anyway, you can also make this private, which means your company trailer people that you do hire is not going to be able to use it. Uh, and then you can use. Now, to be able to use the trailer, you have to use them. It's kind of like you have to drive the truck, you know, click drive. The same thing. So if you would like to relocate this trailer to another garage, it'll happen just like that, just like a quick travel with the truck so we're going to use and this is going to be spawned in the garage in stockholm all right so it's waiting in the garage so now let's go ahead and let's let's bounce out of here all right well here we are we're outside uh the garage and you can see our big doubles over here are uh they're up and ready, ready to go so let's go ahead and we'll pick these things up we'll show you what to do with them from here doubles are always going to be a little bit more challenging especially than your uh your singles, but uh, see if we'll make it work. Ooh, those doors are loud. All right, so we all do have trailer um, advanced coupling on here, so it does it does work. There we go. There we go. We got a lights on. Sweet. There you go. That looks good, don't it? Now we've even got our little LED strobes at the bottom like I was showing you. So we've got, uh, of course, we've got a little extra. We've got extra lights down here just in case. Um, but, yeah, you know, it looks, you know, it looks all right. It looks all right. I'll take it. All right. Let's see if we can get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, that, I didn't, can't tell you how to, uh, can't tell you how to do that. Let's go ahead and swing her out wide here. Nice. All right. We're going to pull that tag up. 
There we go. Very good. All right, let's go ahead. Let's add in our uh, part break here. So let's go ahead and pick us up a job. So this is the way this works. Now that you are here, uh, you have cargo, external, freight, and quick drop. So you still have the same three, but now they've added in the cargo. So whatever you are hauling, whether that be a, um, you know, whether that's a, like this, you've got smoked eel, you've got seedlings, you've got little young trees, you've got smoked sprats potted flowers you've got all these types of things that might need a refrigerated trailer so now you're going to be looking at using those so uh let's see if we can find us a nice short load out of here that's really just right down the road there not too long so tell you what we'll get started and then i'll fast forward into uh once we pull into uh where we're going in karis corona so whenever we get into karis corona we'll uh we'll go ahead and fast forward in that way you guys can see how you drop stuff off and then how you bring things back and just keep this evolute um this evolution cycle going so let's go ahead let's get over here to our uh our first pickup Oh, heads up, heads up. Oh man, look at that. Gotta turn my turn my head over there to get the uh <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I love the uh, turning radius of Euro Truck. It's great. Cargo's been loaded, alright. So that also takes time. So your uh you know the way you manage time in this is gonna be a little different as well. Nice. We'll get out of here on the road, and then I'll fast forward this, and then we'll get down to uh, Caritas Corona, which is where we're going. No idea whether or not I said that right. I'm just taking a stab at hoping for the best. So we'll drive a little bit here. You guys can see the uh, see the shift cam. go a couple of roundabouts here then we'll be on our way so we'll get at least down to the um at least get down to the main main highway here doubles are so bad it's so it's such a nice challenge i, I love love how you come into these and wait on the copper Here we go up the hill and out we go. All right, well we're here in Carl's Krona, so we are fixing to uh, to make our turn back into and get the track hour going here. So we're fixing to make our uh, turn back in here to the main city. We'll drop this load off here. And we'll show you how it's like dropping these off and dropping the trailers off. I actually had an AI run a nasty red light about the time we got here. And, uh, and we had the green, we had it all the way solid, and then BAM! It's like, man, I wish I was actually recording that. <laughs> that would have made it for some good footage, but nope, 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 nope. Love this. Yeah, I know. I know. We smacked him hard, too. We're going to be limping all the way into Carl's Crota. There we go. We're pulling in the doubles. 
I actually probably would look just as good to have the uh, have the white on top and the blue on the bottom, honestly. So you also find as you start going back and forth, I've played enough of it, enough with this just to kind of get an idea of where the trailer loads go. Most of the trailer loads go in and out of the same place or to the same style of place. Like you're not going to be picking up, uh, you know, reefers in, in a mine. You know what I'm saying? So you generally going to have a little bit better uh, better results from where you're picking the trailer up as to where it's going. So yeah see we're taking all this down into the nor food so that makes that makes more sense you know we're not taking it to the the tesla dealer so to speak you know ats in my mind there all right we'll wait on this van to come no of course you're gonna all right we're gonna get stuck in traffic wait on me to turn into this place well i had to weasel us into the Good board here all right all right so here you go so we're gonna place it it's gonna ask us for right there so let's uh, let's hope we can make that. Gosh. Let's see, are we gonna make it? I think we are. I think we are. Yeah, all right. Sweet. All right. All right, so we're going to unload with the enter button. Uh, well, yeah, I say enter. There we go. Smoke to deliver from Stockton to Carl's Corona. So there you go. So you got the urgent delivery. You got all of these cool things because you got long distance, proficiency, urgent. Uh, and then the, the maneuvering bonus is just the second one. So, And we got that, that nasty damage on that. We just smacked that car and knocked him straight into the river. So, Okay, so here's the other cool thing about this. So instead, you can continue and you can go you know, pick up other stuff. But you can start right here at the Norfood where we're at and then pick up something here and go on. So a lot of truck drivers, you know, they deliver to one place and they've already got it set that they'll pick up from there and then deliver somewhere else. So if you wanted to, you can go straight in here, current company. So there isn't any right here for this particular place, but you can also view the global uh, cargo market by clicking this. And then there you go, smart smoke deal. Uh, and see so Norfood is your delivery, but you don't have any Norfood here. So you got Polaris lines, uh, this Dracar Trans, we got Norskin. Um, so you can take some sausages, we got some cheese over here, we got smoked eels. So all these are going back in uh, towards Denmark. So, I mean, it's, you can see how this all works. I mean, it's pretty cool how you can still just continually keep going. So these are nothing more than you'll take the same exact trailer that you've got and just go over to the next place and have this. So this will be your trailer. This will be your piece of, uh, you know, your, your piece of property to have and, and take and carry without. So it won't be any more of this just going and picking up trailers um, and then hoping that you can get the skins right. The cool thing is, is hopefully if monitors and, you know, get on, I'm sure they're going to love this because they'll be able to make you whatever the skin is that you want for your, uh, you know, for your deal. And then you'll be able to have that particular skin for everything, which is going to be awesome. So I can't wait to see, you know, what they do and what you can do, especially if you've got companies like ours with truck books. So you can check that top link there in the description. If you want to drive with us, we've got about 75 drivers, but we need some ETS guys to come help us out. Um, so anyway, you got lots of stuff this update. That was just a little shameless plug there for the, uh, for the truck books company. FTG, FTG United Logistics is what you're looking for. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get us some skins here for ETS. And also for Ultimate ATS fans as well, this kind of gives you an inkling of what may be here to be expected uh, coming into ATS 1.32, which, um, you know, it's got to be shortly on the heels of this and maybe a couple of weeks at best. Um, so hopefully we'll see what happens with this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making, I enjoy, always enjoy doing these kinds of things and trying to you know, give you guys the most, uh, the most and, and hopefully up to be, uh, up to date information that I possibly can. So it's been a long day and I'm sorry, I'm getting this out a little bit later. I'm sure guys have probably already seen, uh, everything there is to know about the beta, but, uh, if you did, if you did like it, go ahead and like it there for me. And I appreciate that. So throw up a, a subscription there. If you do want to keep up with some more ETS, I would love to do some more ETS, but I need you guys. I need viewers and need people that want to actively come watch uh, do ETS. Uh, and if you want to indicate of what it could be, go check out some of our ATS stuff. We've got modding help down there. 
we got a lot of other things uh, from interstate freight to just building drives. We're actually taking customizing trucks and building trucks up different skins, different purposes, and then going out and taking a couple loads and having a good time interacting with chat. So that's always something too that I would like to start with ETS. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you here on the next video, guys. We'll see you. Peace.